Hi, welcome back to Surgery Tip Clips. This is Seam Allowances Part 2. We had so many comments and great questions on the previous tip clip that I thought it would be good to go back and revisit Seam Allowances again and also to clear up a few things that people were a little bit confused about. And the first one was that um, a number of people thought I drew my line on my actual projects for my stitching line. I don't do that. The, at most, what I might do is mark right at the beginning if I have a 3 8 seam allowance or half inch or 5 8 or whatever it is. But even at that, most of the time, I just eyeball it. And I'm pretty, I've sewn for so long, I'm, I'm pretty good at guesstimating where I'm supposed to be. Another viewer wondered whether I was surging the seams together or surging the fabric layers together. Yes, I was because I was creating a seam in it. And so there were two layers put together and stitched together. So that answers those questions. Also, people still had a few questions about cutting width and seam allowance and that sort of thing. And on this one, you'll see two different ones again on this. This is a three thread narrow stitch with just my right needle in and my cutting width and stitch width are set at six millimeters, which gives me a fairly narrow seam allowance on this. And whether you choose to make a wide cutting width say nine millimeters or a narrower one is somewhat personal preference, but also the type of fabric that you're using. If you're using something that's a fairly hefty fabric or has a, a fair amount of body, you can get away with a wider seam allowance and cutting width. But if you're doing something that's a more delicate fabric or may even have a little bit of transparency to it, something like this, a narrower seam allowance might look a little bit better. Also, another thing that I wanted to mention is that with a four thread overlock on my machine, I can make that a nine millimeter stitch width, but I can also bring it down to be fairly narrow, say to five millimeters. And does that affect the strength of the stitch itself? No, it does not. It doesn't affect the integrity of the stitch at all. And quite frequently, if I'm doing a zipper insertion on a zipper bag with a four thread overlock, because the zipper tape is only so wide, I will have that very narrow stitch width down to five and have the cutting width down to five as well, because I don't want the width of the stitch to eat up the whole width of the zipper tape. But the five millimeter versus nine millimeter stitch width does not affect the strength of that four thread overlock. So let's go over to the machine, take a look at both left needle and a right needle seam allowance one more time, and I will talk about that. Here are my two pieces of sample fabrics. I'm going to create a seam with this. And I have cut it exactly three inches wide. And I'm going to do a half inch seam allowance. I'm set up for a four thread overlock. My left overlock needle is the one that's going to form the seam. So I'm going to align the second from right indicator ridge with that half inch mark on my fabrics to make sure that I'm nice and even and accurate. So I'm gonna get that under here. But from this point on, once I start stitching, am I watching my needles? No, I'm watching how much my knife trims off on the edge of the fabric. And that's going to tell me that I, if I trim off a consistent amount from beginning to end, that when I finish, my fabric should only be two and a half inches wide at the seam allowance. So let's give this a go and see how we do. So eyes on this edge of the fabric. Okay, I've got my fabric all sewn. And let's take a look at what I trimmed off. I had my cutting width on about 8.25, and that's just arbitrary. It doesn't matter what it was on. But you can see the little strip of fabric that I cut off really is even from beginning to end. I think you're seeing two of these pieces um, uneven together. So let's measure our fabric and see what it you looks like. You can see that that three inches 
has been brought down to two and a half right at the seam line. Here's the beginning of the fabric. Let's move it down and see if this is correct all the way down. Let me get it evened up over here. Yes, it is. So watching the knife and how much it's trimming off is a very accurate way of getting an exact seam allowance. This fabric strip is cut exactly three inches wide and we're going to mark the half inch seam allowance. But the difference on this one is that it's going to be a very narrow seam allowance. I have my right overlock needle in and my cutting and stitch width down to six. This would be great on a lightweight, delicate fabric where you didn't want a wide seam allowance. So you'll see that as long as I follow that half inch guide all the way down, you, I'll have an accurate half inch seam allowance, even though what's left after cutting isn't. Just the right needle is what's creating my seam. I'm aligning my half inch mark with the right needle indicator ridge right here. And I'm going to bring this under, slide it up to the knife, put my presser foot down. Now, I'm going to watch the right edge of the fabric to see how much I'm cutting off. But one other great little guide is how much of the bed of the machine is peeking out from the right edge of the fabric. And I'd say it's just about an eighth of an inch. If I keep my edge parallel to that, it should be fine. But if I'm going around a curve, that's not going to help. So watching how much I cut off is really going to be the best help of all. So let's get give this a go. And from the seam over to the raw edge on this left side, we should have a two and a half inch measurement when I'm done. And I'm looking at this strip and it looks even. Let's give it a trim and let's measure. Should be exactly two and a half inches. So let's see if that's what we have. Yep, two and a half inches. Thanks for joining me today. If you have any comments or questions, leave them below and I'll get back to you quickly. If you'd like to email me, my email is gail at gailpatrice.com. See you again soon. Happy sewing and surging.